What's up fish tank people? Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you with a video unlike any video I've ever done before. I'm going to talk today about a man you've probably never heard of before but has been very instrumental in the growth of the aquarium hobby in the United States. This story starts back in 1896 when a young Albert Greenberg takes a British boat with his family to settle in Chicago. His father and mother, both avid gardeners, during World War I, he enlists, and then afterwards becomes a traveling salesman. I like to think of him as a hustler. And during his traveling salesman days, he spends some time down in Florida. And he gets the idea that Florida just might be the perfect place to start keeping and selling tropical fish. Fast forward to about 1930 or so, Albert Greenberg stumbles on to an area he would later call Eureka Springs. He purchases 80 acres of land, which includes 11 crystal clear water springs. This video you're going to see today is part one of the history of Albert Greenberg, which is being toured around by a gentleman named Cliff and Bob, who both worked under Albert Greenberg. Old we'll walk and talk. So over here was something that Gr Greenberg that was had. the original of the small ponds, and there were, used to be three of them there. Okay. Then they filled two in. It's funny you can never see the ponds. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that neat? Yeah, we can get better. That's cool. And there were all kinds wow. of catfish in there when it dried up the first time when I first started oh, yeah? down here. Wow, look at this. This was a duck pond. <laughs> this is wicked, man. Now this was this pond was dug. Uh, one of the first ponds dug. I was reading he did a lot of it by hand until he could afford a mule. Is that oh, right? Oh yeah, well, the spring itself is just right out there where that clear water is, believe it or not. Okay. And it, there used to be a culvert that comes up. I'll show you over here. But when it got clogged up, we had to come in and... I always knew this was here, but we had to dig it out. So it would flow this way. And you notice it's not even flowing today. No, it isn't. And it was last week or a couple weeks ago. It's down too, isn't it? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, a little bit. We've only had a tenth of an inch of rain this. Yeah, that's true. Now this used to be a beautiful pond. And one of my things I would do about once every uh, month, I would go in and weed the ponds, get all the weeds out of them and keep the good stuff in it. What was the good stuff you were keeping in it? Uh, Greenberg used to have some um, Sagittaria, uh, Lobelia. Uh, was that a... Sagittaria Lobelia is the name? Or Sagittaria and Lobelia? And Lobelia. And, okay. He had Sagittaria... Tetsiana. I never even heard of that. Oh, it's a little, it looks like a vowel. vowel but it's a little taller, Sag? No, this, this Sagittarius is about like that. Really? Wow. That, that's it. Huh. And I, uh, I thought it was a vowel until uh, one of uh, Greenberg's guys uh, yelled at me. Yeah. You tell things by the way they bloom. And I said, yeah. <laughs> I should have known it had a Sagittarius bloom. It didn't have a vowel scenario bloom. I didn't know about it. Oh, sure. It's not much. There was a culvert that went under here. And I told you, about once every year, we would have to clean the culvert out because it was kind of <laughs> messed up. So we would send an air hose, hose through it. And it would just come up. Now, I don't know what's the problem. They probably let this get dammed up. This flows around Everglades Aquatics. Okay. But it looks like they blocked it up, so it's not flowing that way anymore. So you keep the lobelia, was it like a lobelia cardinalis or yeah. was it a, okay. Yeah, it was just cardinalis. And they got the, the red cardinal flower and the sag. Because yeah. I'm used to Sagittarius sublata. That's my, one I of my I favorites. Don't even, I don't even know that one. It's a real, it's just a little, just a short guy. Just we just had the Lancifolia, Latifolia, and this Poetiana. It's a native one. Yeah? I don't know where it got him. 
What are the names of those? Lancifolia? I've heard of that one. Lancifolia is just the regular long leaf one. Latifolia, they call it duck potato. <laughs> uh, it's, we pass, we'll pass them. This is awesome. All right, so I see his secret was never get old. How do yes. that? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's right, you, uh, <laughs> As I said, I, said I got my, my popcorn and my soda out. His secret was never get old? <laughs> that's what he would always tell people. Never get old. So how do we do that, Dustin? And he used to walk around Play the park. Play with plants all day, that's when the I, When I first started working here, he would walk around the park twice a day with his big, um, dog and his little dog. One was a wolf hybrid, and the other was a chihuahua. And Bob bought his house. Yeah, it's green down here. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, when I left the other day, I came back and... Oh, yesterday. When I, when yesterday, I was out when here, I yes, I, I I was out here yesterday, I went over and knocked in a... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I remember I, you told me. say, Bob, can you come out here? Some of the things Greenberg planted out here went crazy, like the uh, Catlia guava. What's that? Uh, it's, 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 these, it's a little guava about yay big. The little orange colored tree? Uh, the orange, what's... With the bark, yeah, kind of a dark brown. That's a Catlia guava. They have itty bitty guavas on them. But it's a weed. We tried to wipe them out behind the room one time. So when he died, he donated a large this this park basically, this right? This was donated way before he died. Oh, way before he died. Way before he died. I guess I read that wrong. He when yeah yeah I knew he on the stipulation that it remain a county park in a botanical garden. Wow. I had no idea he retired so young. Well, he was so rich. <laughs> Just an old you know, Jew yep. from Chicago that made it big in the fish industry. And yeah? When all his competitors started catching him, he figured, I don't need this shit. So he started plants. Really? So he started in fish? Yeah. So fish is where he made his money? Yeah. So he was the first guy to really bring in ornamental fish? Uh, well, or one one of the yeah, first guys. One of the first, yeah. But he was the best at marketing it though, and yeah, kind of getting Bob it going. Would, see, Bob would know know this even more than I do about Greenbird's early years. But that was how he made his mark, and then he yes moved into what plants when the fish kind of picked up, or oh, what's this? Yeah, he just kind of gravitated over to plants. Uh, I, I don't know. This is cool. See, this is some of the, uh, this is Indian Slough, uh, where we almost got to last time. What's Indian Slough? Indian Slough's a spring. Well, Indian Spring's a two-headed spring, about 500 yards out of way, behind that big building. We tried to get to it the other day, but it was, the water was higher. We might be able to get to it today. I am but down these are to hike. Some of his neat little uh, water lilies he put back here forever, and then the uh, stupid aeroid, uh spinosa, something spinosum. And when you can see it closer up here, you'll see why they call it that. The what there? Spinosa. Yeah. I like this. Uh... They won't do it, and they're kind of intimidated. But you need to spend, you need to willingly come out here and oh, spend an afternoon. <laughs> because they don't know anything about how the water works. Yeah, I, I noticed that. You noticed, didn't I, you? I noticed that. And I don't either, really. I had to explain to Grizz that no, that wasn't the original culvert. The original culvert we had to clean out once a year <clears throat> with an air hose. And and that's just a you know bad example there. Usually, either the whole north end's underwater like it is now, 
or there's no water anywhere on the north <laughs> including in you know, the pond. It looks like they, they've dammed up the uh, stream that goes through Everglades. If they have, then it's just the ship the falling in it. Yeah. yeah, because nobody's doing anything over here. And they can't even decide what to do with property. Because, you know, they've tried, they've tried, or they auctioned it off. They had an yeah. auction, and they auctioned it, and somebody bought it, <clears throat> and uh, six months later, they put a sign up. <laughs> so I don't think they did anything. They just, you know, I think they walked in there and went, oh, man, <laughs> what have we done, you know? <laughs> and so they just decided to unload it. So nothing's going on over there. And What's over there? What, what, what's the property we're talking about? Well, that's Greenberg's old place. With the concrete vats and all that? Yeah. Yeah. Can we see that? No. No, no we can't we, uh, get it. <laughs> no. no, we can't get it. I mean, you you can come down here again maybe next month and call them and tell them you're interested in buying it. They make. Yeah. Oh, so it's a uh, it's a. It's pro a different part of this. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that, that was might be that was never doing. part of the park. I got gotcha. you. The park ended at the fence we saw. And all of that was. All of it was plants, right? Yeah, it was all plants. It was all plants. But it's big, and there's a lot of vats. Yeah. And there were, what, about a half dozen ponds there's in the, the back. Others, about a half dozen ponds, and the rest were concrete and vats. And it was all plants. And what happened was after he gave, or, or just quit on it all, he gave it to the guys who had worked for him. And they ran it, and they continued to run it for until they died. Uh, Until they died, yeah. Greenberg outlived them all. Really? That's what Craig was saying, yeah. <laughs> well, Greenberg outlived everybody. Except oh, us. you haven't seen Watson. Watson <laughs> sent her down here, by the way. <laughs> it's all water you know. Watson, bro. I, of course he did. I was looking at a picture Watson's and I was like, fault. you don't know about this guy? He's like, Albert? Are like, you kidding? Yeah, yeah, Albert? Exactly. Yeah. That <laughs> old crotchety <laughs> Jew. <laughs> 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 Let me tell you about the lily. <laughs> we and Albert did not get along. They, they were both a couple of uh, a couple oh. of male alphas. Just, Strong personality. Yeah, they didn't get along. Him and who? Craig Watson from the lab. Yeah? yeah. The guy that I talked to? That's him. Oh, uh, Eric's boss. He's Craig. I gotcha. So Craig was, I guess he's in Alabama. Here's some of this so. crypt. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. What is this crib? I don't know. Crib. We've never I, known. <laughs> this is the bigger bed over here. <laughs> wow. Is there? It's amazing that it's lasted all these yeah, years. This you know, is really because wow. it's got dry as yeah. snuff four or five times. Oh wow. It's just, yeah. Well, see, this is because they're pumping that. I, I meant to tell you, they're pumping that well. Yeah. In Angelfish Pond, 24/7. And so here it is, you know, it's right here. And that's why the woods are completely underwater and it's all working its way that way. See, can... see, when Greenberg first came out here, everything flowed to the west. Okay. That's why he dug out Eureka Spring. You know, the big canal will go through, he dug it all out so the water would run to the east. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Didn't he have two species of a lizard's tail? Anyway, I can uh, grab some of that crip. <laughs> or is that? I mean, I'd go down and get it myself, but. Well, you don't have anything to carry it in. Yes, I do. <laughs> you haven't been down the old. Uh... Well, me and Shelby. Yes, we went down it, kind of. Okay. That's where there's a crinkly leaf. Yeah, there's a, there's a big stand of crypt down yeah. there. And I think it's probably still there. Oh, I know it's still yeah. there, but... But they just haven't maintained the trail, no, no. so it's a little rough yet. Is there any other crypts of that around, or is that... That's the spot? This is the biggest spot of crypts. This, this spot and the other spot that we probably can't get down to. How can I get back up here? Let's see. <laughs> well, that's the problem, yeah. See, this is the new boardwalk. The old yeah. boardwalk, you can jump off and jump right back on. But now, yeah, and they built it up this high so you wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
so if you jump, which you can, you'll break your ankle. You know, <laughs> or you'll go a foot and a half walk. in the muck. Yeah, and it's going to be really, really soft with all this water. Water's How long are you all going to be down here? Or are you going to be I leave uh, manana. Oh, tomorrow. I can go right down on that br that log right there. Get it done. You can get it on video. Yeah. You care? I mean, it's my legs. Like I'll. I don't work here. Does anybody care if I grab some of that? I don't work here. Shelby, you're holding the camera. Hi, my name's Dustin, and I have a crip problem. I'm going to grab some of Alan Green uh, Greenberg's or Albert Greenberg, excuse me, Albert Greenberg's original crips because I'm history major and this is near and dear to me and these guys are like, nah, the boardwalk's too high or whatever, but watch this. feel bad by the way taking these because they're clearly growing like without a problem so and they didn't tell me no if anybody asks you're taking it out to the uh, fisheries place in Watson and he's gone to uh, DNA the fishery in Watson I can take it to the lab yeah you have lab yeah got it so when are you going to see Watson tomorrow no, he wasn't there. He's in Alabama right now. So we went down oh, to the lab. The Auburn game, duh. <laughs> oh, is that what's going on? <laughs> That's what's going on? No, so Eric gave us a big tour and uh, we interviewed a bunch of like the grad students doing their projects. Uh -huh. Yeah, when he, shoot, when he first went down there, what, what, he'd have about three trailers and about 15 ponds. And <laughs> that was about it. It's, so, it's grown quite a bit from and, and the building itself used to be the uh, weather building. The big old weather ball. That's yeah, how I find the, the lab. The big... huh? <laughs> they just moved back further back off the road. They're still out there. But it... That was the old weather station. Yeah, but... his building was the weather station. It's crazy you think of a fish pond being... Hey man. Whoa. It's hot. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. But, uh, hold on, let me show you. Yeah. Some nice crips there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's this little round guy? This little round low guy. Is that like a, a money ward or penny ward or what's that? Anybody know what that is? That low growing <laughs> stuff? Luguiga? Looked like a Luguiga to me, yeah. I was... Okay. You're seeing a lot of native stuff here that, you know, Greenberg never put in here. Now all of a sudden, well, Greenberg probably put that Sagittaria in that towards the Anna. Now he probably put that in. That's when I got the lecture from a Norton that it was a Sagittaria. Yeah, that's a Liguigia now that I look at it. Yeah. The stem. That's a cool plant. Oh yeah, Yeah, you can see the stent on the red. Wow. That's cool. This ficus you're talking about that grows up on these trees, yeah. you can see what it's doing. Yeah, see, yeah. see that one. Oh there? yeah. What wow, this, way up there. Does is, is once it gets up to a certain height, it metamorphoses, and the little tiny leaves become big, nasty leaves. And they do have a big thing. Yeah, a little bit smaller than 
What's this big round guy? This big guy that's obviously not a native. The big huge umbrella or looks like a giant taro type thing. What is that? That's what it is. A giant it's a taro? taro. I mean, I want to give perspective for this, folks. This is my shoe. I have a size 12. I have big feet. What? What? Take a picture of the big, a big one. That's not even a big one. That's not even a big one? I mean, that's like... We got them everywhere. So just Taro. Any idea where those are actually from originally? What's this? This is uh, it's an aeroid. Uh, the I, I don't know the I genus. Don't, I don't the species spendulo spendulosum. Yeah, spendulosum. Spendulosum is the genus. You can see you it. It gets five knows foot this tall. Plant is Watson. He knows that. That's a cool plant. And you can look <laughs> over here at the stalk. Yeah. Oh That's wow. That's why we always hated to work around it. You'd come I up can with a bloody mess, man. <laughs> Greenberg claimed that he introduced that he found this plant. He claimed that he discovered this plant in uh, Madagascar. Yeah? That's entirely possible. He brought it back. Discovered this plant in Madagascar. Well, it had not been described up to that point. So, you know, he brought it back and somehow or other it got described. But, I mean... See, about once a month it was my job to get in and uh, <laughs> weed the ponds. Yeah. So if I would have still been working here, you know, this would have been all cleared out here. So you're gonna do a little. And there's uh, the spring. There's the main spring right there. You're gonna do a little throwback for us on the camera and do a little. <laughs> that was uh, two hips ago. Oh, that's beautiful. Clear. So that's the actual spring popping through there, huh? Yeah. Yep. That that is. The oh wow. Spring. Hope the camera can do that justice. That's really clear. Yeah, no, we're here. Like, you can see it. Wow. Yeah, that's not doing it justice, but man. Now we have had a, <clears throat> we are right now at exact average rainfall for the year, for 2017. I mean, exactly. <laughs> the other day we were exactly at normal or average, normal average. So in a normal average year, the spring flows anywhere from the middle of summer until Thanksgiving. And usually it stops pretty soon after that. But back in the last four or five years with all the rain we had, this sucker was flowing year round for a couple of years. Yeah, we've seen water flow down the spring. <coughs> drought here. Yeah, the drought we're going to go back now. Because we had a little dam up, up higher where we could pop out of a pond and it wouldn't go down here. That's why I want to talk to them, because see, the dam is still there. They don't even understand there's a dam here, <laughs> or what the dam is yeah. doing, right? or why we put it there. Yeah, it's like hell of a dam to build. <clears throat> well, yeah. The second time. Oh, the car story true? Where you broke down? I want to hear that story. Oh wow! That's the ficus. That's the, ficus. That's the, ficus. That's the root of the ficus. Reapings. Wow! Now, see, all you That's would need to do is uh, hack it right there, and hack you're... it, and it would die up there. So all you got to do is cut that, and you're good. It needs that, and then it's done. Wow! All figs are stranglers. All figs are. Wow. But they're not, not one of my favorite uh, genuses. No, they all do the same thing. They all get on something else and then kill it. Huh. Or kill it oh, yeah, you see it's gone wild. Like crazy. And it slowly just chokes out trees, huh? Yep. That and the uh, syngodium's not, not near as bad. Wow. Is there an aquatic version of somebody or is that something we've learned to grow? 
it's, I don't know, it's Syngodium. Um, uh, I'm thinking of Symphodium. You're Symphodium, yeah, yeah, you're thinking of Symphodium. Yeah. But yeah, he did use that as an aquatic. This? It's one, of the, it's one of these plants, it will, it will survive underwater. It won't per se grow, but it stays green for you know, They just won't <clears> do, <throat> do much. You know. It'll grow on concrete. <laughs> it'll grow on asphalt. Anything. It'll grow on anything. Up in, you know, like needle palm. You know, we planted needle palm all over the place back there. I just crapping to walk up onto this. Planted these Livestones <laughs> when they were in one gallon pots. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> well, believe it or not, I have a whole bunch of Livestones now. They're almost this size. They just uh, grow I mean, fast and they but, like but it. One out of them here. survived. They like it out here. Drewy eyes. Oh wow. Yeah, these are all night bloomers. It looks like they haven't had a big battle of night bloomers versus turtles. <laughs> hey, sometimes no, you, uh, sometimes those cooters get in here and they'll defoliate about everything. <coughs> they managed to keep the turtles out, I think, because they, you know, there hasn't been anything like that quite some time. That's a good festival to go to, by the way, if you're ever up in Inverness. <laughs> the cooter festival. <laughs>